Active Data lets you perform a digital analysis based on Benford's law. Here we're going to select the transaction or invoice amount field. We're going to ask that charts be produced. And we're going to select the first digit test. This produces a new sheet containing the digital analysis. Here we list the first digit, uh, the number of occurrences of the first digit, and the proportion of dollar values beginning with the indicated first digit. We also show what Benford would predict the proportion to be, as well as the difference between the observed proportion and the Benford proportion. We also calculate the average difference. Active Data produces a chart that can be further customized using Excel's built-in charting facilities. We can run more than one test at the same time. Here we'll use the transaction or invoice dollar amount field and we're going to ask for a stratified analysis to be included. Here you can enter your own intervals. Now we're going to select a number of tests to perform. When we press Finished, Active Data will produce a new sheet containing the results of all of the tests. Here we can see the results of the stratification analysis, followed by the results of the first digit test as well as the second digit test and the other tests that we selected. You can also produce analysis for subsets of the rows of data within the sheet. Here we'll select the dollar amount field again. We'll ask for charts and then we're going to select the group or subset that we want to use. Here we're going to select the financial quarter as well as the tests that we'd like to perform. And we can also select the group subset tests. When we click Finished, Active Data will produce a sheet containing the results of the analysis for each test that we requested and for each group that we requested. The resulting sheet also includes charts for the selected tests. As we scroll through the results, we can see the tests are presented for Quarter 1 first. You'll notice that quarter one is hyperlinked, so you can go and drill down to all of the rows that made up quarter one. And then we can see the analysis is repeated for quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four.